AWS uh, IoT partner from Ireland, um, Sasanta, and they're producing really optimized embedded firmware. Um, so, um, and, and they, they have it for, for multiple architecture, but um, uh, how many of you know what is the ESP8266? Uh, yeah, it's pretty maker-friendly uh, board. Uh, what was interesting <clears throat> that we challenged them a little bit <clears throat> to actually utilize that chip uh, and use it together with the with the microchip um, uh, crypto crypto module. <clears throat> um, what was interesting about it is that the, even, even the architecture is different. It's not ARM architecture, it's actually Tensilica core uh, on ESP8266. Um, this, is the, this is the photo of, the, of our like, small setup. <clears throat> so on the right hand side, it's not MCU with the ESP8266 module. Um, <clears throat> the small breakout board <clears throat> on a, in the middle is uh, microchip AT, uh, ECC 508A. <clears throat> uh, in fact, they have it in a even different packaging, which is even smaller. And then, then we have a button. Um, so if Demogods is uh, cooperating, we'll try to, to show it right now. So what, what I'm gonna do um, I'm going to show the board um, first on the on the wolf cam. Sorry. Um, so this is this is our setup, and right now I switch back to to my laptop, and I will just update the two configuration parameters that will allow this board to connect to the access point. It was newly provisioned with the totally off-band certificate, uh, ECC certificate there, and it will connect to the Amazon IoT endpoint right now, and hopefully it will provision itself again if, if, them, if Demogods is cooperating. Um, so, I'm saving new configuration. So we connect it to to our Wi-Fi endpoint, and you see the first, you see that um, over here we have the crypto chip initialization, and we have MQTT disconnect. <clears throat> MQTT disconnect because of the asynchronous nature of um, just-in-time provisioning that, that Jan was saying. So you have to implement the automatic reconnect in your firmware, and subsequent reconnect we already have the certificate in the, um, so here we have only two certificate. If I will update this screen. Now we have the new one with the automatic policy assigned to it. And um, if we will go back to the slides, um, if you will go to this URL, and we, we can we can do the same here. So this is actually just unauthenticated access to uh, the broker. So we're connecting. I will switch over to your laptop. <coughs> the Wi-Fi is a little bit slow.
for those of you who who already um, who already connected, they should see that events gonna be a meeting. <laughs>